we will work on the layout for the first bit of our new base. In today's episode, on the server of the bee. And hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of the BT Minecraft from the Vintagecraft server. My name is Dave and I'll be host for this episode as always. Up here is where we will build, where we will lay out for now. Uh, we got some stuff to do over here. Right now it's just flat but I dream of things and landscapes and everything that is awesome. That's nice and ominous. I appreciate it, game. But first, why I am on so late recording is because on the dynamap... Oh, the shadows are cool. Uh, on the dynamap, I saw a little something that shall pop into view. Right there. There are chests. It looks like six double chests. From Dr. Whoops. Donation for the Borg Cube. What does Borg Cube mean? I don't know. Full of stone, 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 full of stone. This person is amazing. Oh, that will help a lot. That's really good. It's really good. I'll transfer all of that up into the house, but I think for now, we'll probably take a few stacks. Take like nine. And we head back up. And let's talk about what the plans are for. Um, this first bit of the base. Up here, on top of the cube, we will have a landscape. Just some, a little bit of nature. We'll have some trees, a few houses, a river, maybe a mountain. Stuff like that. You now, uh, something nice. Maybe a windmill, some fields. The thing is, it doesn't sound like much when you say it's 120 blocks, but... Then when you're on here, it looks like so much when you're actually walking on top of it. Usually when you fly far enough away to actually have a look at the whole thing, it doesn't look that big. But it's quite sizable. Definitely is. So how do we start this? I have no idea. Let's say we'll start over here. Right there. Over here we'll have a bit of a mountain, I would say. Let's get some... Stone bricks, so they stand out, and let's just do a rough layout, rough guidelines. Let's take this up a few blocks. That's enough. Maybe like that. That look cool. Yeah, we can we can do it a little higher. And then let's see, it goes to like here and there. Just laying things out, as I said, will be the main job for the day, and then we'll start to work on a few things. I might actually get around to fighting the Wither this episode. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. I definitely want to fight the Wither, so I can get... Oh, wow, the lag! Did you see that? That was crazy. Just broke one block and all this light updated down there. Let's do it again. I moved my mouse. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Okay, so there will be mountain. Right there. More like a hill, probably. And I guess we'll have some different height variations. Uh, it would probably be a little bit higher. All the way to over here. Pretty much all of that side will be a bit elevated compared to the other side. And this could go up to here. Why not? Oh, we could have maybe like a little lake up here. That could be nice. So we'll probably have like a river flowing down from there. And then... Let's say we'll have a lake. Or here. Now it's starting to get a little weird with the layout because we're using all the same blocks. For everything. Let's say this will be the lake. Something like that. And by the lake, I think we should have a house. 
right over here. Maybe not have this be weird. Now let's make this a uh, rectangle so we fully know that this is supposed to be a structure. Uh, it doesn't matter how big we make it at the moment, it's just a placeholder. I did it again. Whoops. Oh. Probably have to go and mine a bunch. Oh god. A uh, bunch of dirt to uh, cover all of this up. Uh, okay. This will be a house. We have a house here next to that. We could probably also have a house with further. Let's say maybe on this side we'll have more of a forest. Ooh, yeah, forest. Forest. Oh no, actually over here I think I want to have a field. Like a big wheat field and um carrots and all that kind of stuff. Let's make this uh, as a placeholder for rows. Rows of wheat. Wheat and and potatoes and um carrots and um maybe Beetroots, I don't know, something like that. That might occupy all of the rest over here. Leaves us some room to over there, and maybe we can have um more forest on top of the uh, mountain area. This will probably have to be a bit bigger. Let's have a fly around. Yep. At least when I want to fly, I just have to jump off the edge. I think falling down gives us enough time to always open our elytra. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's nice. Sure, sure, let's do that. Um, that will take a lot of time, however. Where do I want to start? I think I want to start with the basic landscaping, which will take about forever, I'd imagine. I better start sooner than later. How about not now, though? It is late in the day, as you can probably hear by my voice. Which also means I uh, cannot be trusted with building things good. So instead of now going ahead and building that, I will go and take my shulker boxes in there, go to the um, new resource world, and I will collect a bunch of dirt. All of the dirt that I can place up there for the uh, in here for all of these uh, for the landscaping for the wheat fields and all the good stuff. So a little bit of time has passed since the last clip, just a little bit, maybe a month, maybe more. But I have also done a little bit of work. It doesn't look like much to be honest, but it's actually um, a few chests of blocks. It's uh, two chests of, well, more than two chests of dirt. And a little bit of stone. I ju just started on the, um, like, that much stone. I'm just starting on the mountain over here. This will not be the final layer of dirt. I want to put another layer of dirt onto this. It's really just trying to give this thing a shape. I have come back from the resource world once again, however. And I have brought over some more dirt, which I will need to cover this whole thing in. Since uh, I want this, oh yeah, I also have very few flowers. Uh, yeah, because I want to have this all be kind of a landscape. So I'm going to need a bunch of dirt to cover things up. Don't just want to have this a barren stone wasteland. Although that sounds like a band. Stone wasteland? Hmm? Yeah, I'd probably listen to that. Alright, well now uh, we'll just try to make this thing a little bit into a mountain. Um, let's do the usual thing and connect some some dots, I think. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> Last time I did that was... Oh, wow, my aim is so off. <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't shoot pokes with a bow, do you? Really bad at that. Um, yeah, I haven't done this in... Well, since I stopped with the uh, last season of, of Vintage Craft. <laughs> uh, building a mountain. It's been a while. Let's see how we go. So that, that is nowhere near as steep as it should be. I don't want to have this just come to a complete tip. I want to have a little bit of a plateau up there, uh, too. So... 
Uh, I mean, we could technically have a bit of a cliff, right? Kind of like that. Maybe have a little bit of plateau. I mean, we'll need a walkway up there anyway, so we might as well uh, prepare some stuff for that. We're shaping the mountain, we can have it whatever way we want. How does that look? So too much like a step. No, I think that's alright. Bit of a plateau there, and then that's just kind of like a cliff. I think that'll work. Man, look at all the mobs. I'm gonna <laughs> train my aim a little bit. Um, I used to be fairly decent with the bow. Not too good, but not that bad. Also, I'm gonna need some, some gunpowder. Although Ant has this crazy, crazy mob farm that is free to use. Where I should totally go. By the way, I went to Ant's place and I bought some, some shovels. I bought three shovels. Uh, each one of these cost me four diamonds. For efficiency five, mending silk touch and unbreaking three diamond shovel. Uh, I got them to mine out some dirt in the resource world. I'm really happy about it. Works really well. Really cheap. I love that place. Ant space. So convenient. So convenient. They should include an ant space into the Minecraft world terrain gen. Man, that would be awesome. You just walk around and suddenly you have access to things. Ugh, that would be great. <laughs> uh, I mean... You wouldn't have a reason to play the game anymore, though, I think, because you already have everything. Oh well. Let's do another strain up to there from here. Kind of like that, maybe? It's not as steep. We again have kind of a plateau over there that we can string a walkway around. A little bit of a cliff over there, which kind of had there. So... That should be easy enough to connect. Should we do that now, or do we build another side? Um, I think I actually want to do the size of the plateau up there first. So we know what to connect to the next time. And a few stacks of stone later. This is where the mountain uh, is currently at. It is not fully done, the back is still open. But all the sides that we can see from the platform are pretty much done. Uh, as you can see, this is the only stuff that is still open. Oh, there's stone. I will take that. Currently, bit of a mob spawner. Uh, not that bad of an idea to have one, but I'll probably have one down below. Since uh, we have a big dark space there already, we can probably use it for a creeper farm or something like that. Mm -hmm. That might be interesting. I have left this little path over here that kind of goes up around and then goes up to the plateau. We'll um, cover a lot of this with dirt, especially down there and up here, maybe half a tree or something like that up here. Uh, which is the plan. Over there you can see I have laid down some more dirt in a grid sort of fashion. This over here uh, is supposed to be a wheat field at some point. So I just uh, filled it in, I spaced out the water uh, so everything should be hydrated. And there's a thing, there's a achievement on advancement, I guess they're called now, uh, in the game that I have never gotten, and that is using up a complete diamond hoe. Never done that. Uh, this obviously isn't enough to do that, but uh, I think it's it, it's a good thing to start on it. Uh, the um, wheat field will get quite a lot bigger. Uh, not that I need all the wheat, but I, would, I don't know. I, I like it for landscaping, I guess. That's what we're doing. Well, there we go. A diamond hoe. I don't think I've ever made one of these. I might have at some point somewhere, but I never used one up fully. So, that'll be a first. Let's see if I got the spacing right. Looks like I spaced out everything right. The... Uh, uh, durability actually went further down than I thought. I guess I placed down a little bit more dirt than I uh, than I expected. Just looking at it, but that's all right. The field will be, will be quite a bit bigger, and we might have a bit of a river flowing through, either towards the little lake or from the lake. Either way, um, 
will be a little bit bigger. Then should we work on the house next or should we do more terraforming here or there? It seems like I really only get to play and record on the server early in the morning. I usually have stuff to do the rest of the day. So uh, you'll probably hear me with varying degrees of morning voice in this video. I have done some more things. Um, as you can see, I've laid down these two platforms just for terraforming and I've finished the back of the mountain as well. At least the first rendition of it might change. Now you can see a little mountain bit and then the stuff over there. Looking at the place, we'll definitely have to make the, the lake bit quite a big... Uh, quite a bit bigger, as well as the house, as well as the wheat field. And um, the next step for me will be, however, uh, covering all of this in a layer of dirt. We'll see how much dirt we'll actually add on the uh, mountain. But at the bottom, we'll definitely have some more dirt. And all of this will just be covered up. And then we can do some more detailed terraforming later. But not now. I think I'm done with terraforming for this episode. Instead, how about we uh, take a quick look at what has been going on in the underworld with Sobi's project of the mall. Did I ever show this uh, road bit over there in a video? I did that on a stream, I'm pretty sure. But I don't think I ever showed that. So yeah, um, I, I did a little bit of the road construction and I definitely want to do more. I like the way it looks. It looks more like a place for people to actually build houses, which is a thing, but nobody ever really builds here. Because the districts are dead. Uh, I blame that on having a shopping district. Uh, it was I was really happy in the beginning, like when they announced the sort of districts that we have, that we don't have a shopping district. Because of that, people actually have a reason to build in the different districts and the different styles, and then they will, because there are a bunch of houses, they will, people will also build their normal houses there, and the districts will be alive and all. And then people were like, I want a shopping district. Now we have a shopping district, and that's the only district that people build in. And the rest is dead, uh, as expected, but I guess that's how it goes. So, what could we do to still get people to here? How about having a mini shopping district in our district, like a mall? This is the volcano that Sobi has been working on. Um, his idea was to make a volcano, and I said, hey, let's uh, at least make it something community-focused, like a mall or something, uh, since you already have a base that is technically too big for the uh, extremely <laughs> empty district. Uh, so, yeah, this is what he has been working on. I have been leaving him alone with that, because it was his idea, and I want this to be his project. And now he has said, well, I don't want to do it anymore, please somebody else do it. And now uh, it's part of the build team. <laughs> um, that's not 100% accurate. But yeah, he has been doing all of this. And I like the shape, and I like the lava, and I like how... Um, broken up everything is over here. It looks very eroded. It's all just stone, so that will have to be changed. A bunch of cobblestone and andesite and such will work with that. And we had a chat. Um, like, I had a chat with Sobi, and then we had a chat with the build team, who will take over this project a little bit, with help of Sobi. Obviously, it's still his project. Um, what to do here. And we have some cool ideas on what there's a squid. Uh, yeah, we had some cool ideas on what to do here, how to build on the inside, and this could be a really, really cool underground-themed mall. I'm gonna have to kill the squid. There we go. Awesome. I uh, want to build a shop in here myself, a shop selling ink, because uh, that used to be a very hot commodity when people were still playing on here. <laughs> now it's Currently, me online, which I've been online uh, a few days in a row early in the morning. Um, I say early in the morning, but really I'm on here until 10 a.m. Because that is when the Pixelmon server has reset. So, <laughs> I can play on there without having to uh, go through the reset thing. Always kind of throws me off. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and Gof uh, Thorn is part of the build team. So, yeah, that's the people that are online currently. I know a certain beef that kind of should be play on here. I'm just just saying. I mean, I haven't played on here a little uh, for for a while now, and I feel guilty about it. 
But I'm not the person that receives money to play on here. I am, you know, I, I pay money to pay on here. So, yeah, I shouldn't feel feel guilty about it. I, I, I shouldn't. Um, back to the topic. The uh, uh, railway, Richie's railway, will go right through here. And we are in charge, by, by we I mean me, uh, I'm in charge of building the supports. I, I probably could change up the supports for in here. Um, considering what we want to do here. We'll see though. Actually, maybe we'll just leave it the way it is. But we'll build in a better entrance and better exit. We'll walk on that and a bit of a train station in here. Uh, because you're supposed to actually walk through uh, the mall. It will be. That could be really cool. In the future, I'm really hyped to see where this goes and maybe have actually shops in here and maybe people actually like use the district. You know, I've, I haven't been here in a while, but I don't think anything really has has changed. There still is um, the failed attempt at a witch farm that nothing happens. My place is as unfinished as ever. There is this place over here, which is uh, like the only place that really has been completed as... I, I think it's a residence. There's Richie's place over there. Puya's place over there, the uh, uh, rail station that we should finish, by we again, I mean me, and there is uh, Zobi's place over here. Um, Jeromus, part of the build team, has claimed the coolest place uh, to, to build on and hasn't done anything with it. I don't know what this place is. Um, I think this is directly below Galaxy District. I don't know if this is... Yeah, I think this is still part of ours. Uh, welcome to the Underworld Best District. That 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 is true. Oh, Sobi. Hmm. I guess Sobi just left a few um welcome signs for Akron's Land. Okay, 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 okay. Technically, you're not supposed to build big places in the district, but. Um, I, I, I approve of this place, it's okay, uh, the size is alright, um, you can build bigger, I don't care, just please build something, okay? <laughs> I see you're going for the right, right style there, I, I like the gate, uh, just please continue, okay, okay, thanks. Another build we have, uh, what, what's this ice column? That one's new. Uh, yeah, another build that is not really in the underworld, but close by is this thing. The ship built by Max Zemer, which looks really cool. Zemer is really good at building ships, so uh, I'm not surprised by it. I'm still impressed by it, because that's a really good looking ship. Really, really cool. I like it. I don't know if it's fully done done, to be honest, but uh, it's definitely one of the more finished builds in the district. And it's it's a really cool one. Yeah, and that's pretty much all the builds in the Underworld District. All of them. Not that much, is it? So we gotta work on that in the future. Uh, this, I think, is already Fantasy District. Yeah, this is the Fantasy District. Also, really empty. There's a little ship over there. I don't know if that's built by Pixie There's supposed to go... Uh, a castle is supposed to go right there. And then there are a few builds over here, but mainly this place is super empty. This is supposed to be the train station. I don't know who's in charge of that. Um, if anybody really was working on this. I don't know. Maybe um, um, the head of the fantasy district will work on that. I don't know who the head of the fantasy, fantasy district is, by the way. Um, new clue. I only know the head of the uh, um, underworld district. That's me. And I think futuristic district is Pitta Mudball. But I'm honestly not too sure on that either. But now I think it is time for me to come back to placing down a bunch of dirt. Uh, filling all of this in. But I don't think uh, we should... Uh, I don't think I should make that part of this episode still. Because I at some point actually want to get this video out. Who would have thought? Actually a new 
A new vintage craft video, a new video of the beefy Minecraft. It has been far too long. So, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'll place down a bunch of dirt. I might stream at some point uh, placing down dirt over here. I'm not 100% sure what we'll do in the next episode, by the way. Uh, obviously, I want to get some progress done in this place, but um, placing down all this dirt will be super boring, and I don't want to have next episode also be just Sarah forming up here and talking, like this episode. So, um, next episode, we might go and actually do some work on our underworld residence, our evil lair over there. I think I'm slowly getting a pretty good idea of where I want that build to move. So, I uh, will probably do that in the next episode. But feel free to leave suggestions and uh, feel free to uh, leave some ideas for up here if you have them. Uh, it's supposed to be sort of landscape. What else can we have? We have a mountain, we have a lake with a bit of a river, big wheat field. Um, house over there uh, we might we could make it uh, a windmill kind of have water wheel next to the water maybe and then the, the big wood field that would make sense uh, some trees and such but anything specific let me know I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you check back with me next time next episode video stream whatever it will be and until then see ya